Welcome to the University of Michigan Microlearning for the Surgical Clerkship. Today we're going to be discussing how to use common OR instruments, the needle driver, forceps, and scissors. Some key points are to have your thumb and fourth fingers in the rings, and to hold it in such a way that you have comfort, control, and stability. So you pick up the needle driver with your thumb and fourth fingers in the rings, and you have your index finger extended for stability, and your third and fifth fingers curled around the bottom ring. To open the locking mechanism, you push out with your thumb while maintaining counter tension with your fourth finger, and to lock it, you simply push down. We teach this method over palming because beginners often find it difficult to unlock the needle driver while palming. You hold forceps similar to a pencil with your thumb on one side and your second and third fingers on the other side. Notably, you want the back of the forceps to rest on the top of your hand. A common way to hold forceps incorrectly is to have uh, the top of the forceps in the palm of your hand, similar to how one would hold kitchen tongs. Here we see heavy scissors held similarly to the needle driver, with your thumb and ring finger in the rings and your index finger extended for stability. If you feel shaky, you can stabilize the scissors with your other hand, although that's not pictured here. While cutting sutures, you want to not go too far back in the scissors, as that can put unwanted structures in the radius of cutting. Thank you for listening, and I hope you find this useful.